Can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the value of x given that x squared plus 19x minus x factorial equals 0. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this unusual equation. So, our goal in this question is to solve for the value of x, which is a positive integer, given this equation x squared plus 19x minus x factorial equals to 0. So, how do we start? Now, first thing to do is to take note that n factorial is equivalent to just n times n minus 1 factorial. So, we will use this identity to answer this kind of question. Therefore, x factorial can be written as x multiplied by x minus 1 factorial. Now, why we do that? Because on the first two terms, we have x squared plus 19x. We can factor out also x given these two terms. So, let's do that. Now, we have a common term of x on these two terms, so we can factor out again the variable x, like this. So we have x multiplied by x plus 19 minus x minus 1 factorial equals to 0. Now, since this equation equals to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that x plus 19 minus x minus 1 factorial equals to 0, or x equals to 0. But take note that x is an element of positive integer, meaning x must be greater than 0. So we can now disregard this case wherein x must be equal to 0. Now we have this equation x plus 19 minus x minus 1 factorial equals to 0. So let's solve for the value of x. First thing we need to do here is to rearrange some terms a little bit. And then, this 19 can be written as 20 minus 1. Why we do that? Because if we rearrange some terms a little bit, we have now a term which is x minus 1. And on the right-hand side, we also have a term which is x minus 1. So what we're going to do here is to let k be equal to x minus 1. Therefore, all terms having x minus 1 can be replaced by the variable k, like this. So we have now k plus 20 equals k factorial. Now, take note that 20 is between 3 factorial and 4 factorial because 3 factorial is 6 and 4 factorial is 24. So maybe the value of k must be around 3 or 4. What if k must be 3? So 3 plus 20 is 23, and 3 factorial is just 6. 3 factorial is less than 23. So k is not equal to 3. How about k equals 4? Now, 4 plus 20 is 24, and we know 4 factorial is 24 also. Therefore, this equation holds true. And if k is greater than 4, take note that k plus 20 must be less than k factorial. For example, let this k be equal to 5. So, 5 factorial is definitely 120, and this is definitely greater than k plus 20. Therefore, we can say that the value of k in this equation must be equal to 4. And since k is also equivalent to x minus 1, so we can equate x minus 1 and 4. Now, to get the value of x, let's add 1 on both sides. Therefore, the value of x must be equal to 5. Therefore, our answer to this question is x equals to 5. But, of course, we need to double check if 5 is the correct answer. So, what we're going to do here is to replace all x with 5. Now, let's simplify. 5 squared is 25. 19 times 5 will give us 95. 5 factorial is 120. Now, 25 plus 95 is 120. Therefore, 120 minus 120 definitely equal to 0. So, our answer is correct. Therefore, the value of x in this equation, x squared plus 19x minus x factorial equals to 0 is equal to 
time. And as always, we are done.